My grandmother has Alzheimer's disease, and I heard that cannabis therapy can be helpful. Is that true? Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Stein, and I will be addressing that issue today. Thanks for tuning in. It turns out that cannabis therapy can be helpful for conditions like Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative conditions. Neurodegenerative conditions are those processes that occur with aging, get worse over time, and result in progressive loss of nervous function, nerve cell death, if you will. Alzheimer's disease is one of those conditions where over time, patients have progressive cognitive impairment. Parkinson's disease is another neurodegenerative condition. We are learning, mainly from studies in the laboratory, that cannabis therapy can be helpful for neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Other examples include Huntington's disease and Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. It turns out that cannabis therapy provides a potent antioxidant effect. We know that in the brain, oxidative damage can cause loss of neurons. That's why antioxidant therapy like vitamin E and vitamin C are so popular. We also know that there's another type of nerve cell damage from excitotoxicity. This type of pathology has to do with too much excitation from glutamate, where nerve cells die off as a result. That's why we use antioxidants and medications that reduce excitotoxicity. It turns out that cannabis works quite well for those two conditions. And in the laboratory, we are seeing important strides in reducing the changes associated with neurodegenerative disorders. Now, we don't have too many studies in humans. There is one going on out in San Francisco with Dr. Hergen, rather, where patients living in an assisted care facility are being treated with cannabis products of different ratios, CBD and THC. We're eagerly awaiting those results, and we will pass those on to you and our other listeners as soon as they are available. The take home message today regarding neurodegeneration is that promise is on the horizon. We are learning that cannabis therapy indeed can be helpful for humans if our preclinical studies are borne out in clinical trials or with humans. So thank you for listening. That's our video for today. I'm Dr. Dan Stein. Thanks for tuning in.